guys. Last Monday for Memorial Day, my friends and I went out to lunch in an area called Colleyville, Texas, which is about 30, 45 minutes away. And across the street from the restaurant was the new Elos Aqua Studio that just opened up maybe a month ago, maybe less, maybe three weeks ago. So I thought I'd go check it out with my friends and see what it's like. And boy, was I not disappointed. Check this out. Elos Aqua Studios, located in South Lake, Texas, which is very close to Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. The store is pristine. I almost would say immaculate. I was so impressed with how shiny and clean and new. It was like going into a jewelry store. I believe this is a representation of our Cowboy Stadium that's located in Arlington, Texas, not far away. You'll even see a sleeperhead goby right there in the sand by the doorway. This is the second Elos store in the United States. This display was beautiful. Acans, LPS corals, scolies, softies, all combined together to make a beautiful aquascape. The many different fish you could purchase were in this circular display in the center of the store. Everything's well lit with that familiar blue hue, but easy to shop. Look at that tiny guy, adorable. I really did want to just bring home more fish, and it's kind of hard to resist in a store that displays them so lovingly. This is a Sally Lightfoot, in case you don't know. There are plenty of dry goods, many of the things we use to clean our tanks, to test the water. Here's the backside of that circular set of tanks, and here are the common things we use. I see Radeon lights, I see Neptune Apex systems, AI lighting, battery backups, max spec lighting, all types of bulbs, additives, but let's check out some corals. They had plenty of frags, and I actually spent quite a bit of time looking in this tank trying to find something new for my display. I did play with color correction to kind of soak up the blue, so I hope that you understand that as you look through this. A nice tiny feather duster was spinning in this rock, so I captured that on film for you. This is an elegance coral, and it is beautiful. Here are some tube anemones, and they're affordably priced. That was something that really impressed me about the store. Prices were not really high like one might expect. There's a whole bunch of different products from Coral View as well as Elos. And you'll find your test kits, the lighting in this back corner was really dim, so this is super pixelated. Or the iPhone. There is the Max Spec Gyre that everyone's talking about. Different foods and buffers. Test kits. I don't know how I did that. This is the quarantine system in the back room, where they try to keep new fish under quarantine for about three weeks before they are sold to customers. They also had a vat behind me that was for Live Rock. Now check out the wires in this bin. Here's one with a cover on the front to keep everything safe from water splashing. And here's my new gem. Not the urchin, though he does, he's pretty cool. That's my new bubble coral. Tiny little guy, but it's gonna grow big. We had a great time. I even got a shirt out of the deal. Even though I sell shirts for a living, as you guys know from the last video. Uh, I got some other news. Uh, first of all, I wanna tell you that I ordered some new microphones. So this hum that's happening in the background should stop. <laughs> That's my hope. Uh, some of it's already shipped, probably be here tomorrow or sometime next week, and I'm gonna connect it to the iPhone and make sure that we get good audio quality, and I hope that that'll clean this up even more, I'm trying to do even more to make you guys super happy. I got a letter and a package today with these goodies, and it's from Innovative Marine. Now, I'm not gonna read the whole letter to you, but basically it was, Dear Mark, thanks for taking the time to try out or evaluate our new products, and you know, it was a really nice letter personally written to me. And they said, Innovative Marine said they're going to start sending me some goodies from time to time to get my feedback, product reviews, that kind of thing. So that's kind of cool to be on a list, right? Uh, it included information about various products, and I kind of expected certain ones to arrive. The one that didn't show up is the Gourmet Grinder, which I, kind of resembles to me like a salt grinder, uh, a pepper grinder, <laughs> pepper shaker. And that's not in the box. I don't know why. But the Gourmet Defroster is in there, 
and this should allow you to suspend this in your tank near the top put the food in let it melt and let it just kind of trickle into the reef over some time this one here is called AccuDrip and it's some kind of a system to use for acclimating fish where you can really control the exact drip rate and the final item is the gourmet gra grazer that showed up the gourmet grazer is kind of like a uh, a case around the nori sheets and the fish will pick at it through the holes now I'm not sure how Spock is going to respond to this and because my glass is so thick the only way for this to hold on to three quarter inch glass it would pretty much have to grab onto the back of the cleaning magnet of my aquarium and that way I could try it out so I'm thinking maybe I'll try it in the anemone cube and see if the clownfish like picking it and worry through it even though typically clownfish aren't really vegan oriented or vegetarian oriented they seem to like the formula ones and the meteor foods so that's kind of cool the next step is to try out these products and see how they work latest news about the aquarium still losing some of that chalice and it's the biggest chalice in my aquarium it's probably about this big around and i'd say about a third of it has died and basically it was an alkalinity swing as far as i can tell the uh, alkalinity as i mentioned before had dropped to about six uh, due to a malfunction of a piece of equipment and then when I reestablished everything I guess I don't know through my recovery and everything it shot up to 13 and that chalice is not happy with me I was going to take a picture or video to show you but the lights already in moonlight phase at this point while I'm filming this so we'll save that for next time the aquarium turned the 18 month anniversary on the 10th of uh, May and so we'll be coming up in the 19th month maybe that would be a good time to review the tank and show you guys the latest you can see that everything for the most part is fine you'll see a little bit of carnage I, I'd mentioned it you know there's some STN that happened on some of these corals because of my alkalinity goof but for the most part everyone seems to be pretty well I've had a few I hate to admit it but I've had a few mysterious fish deaths and I went up to the local fish store and talked to the owner about if he'd ever heard this and I'll share it with you feel free to comment and you know tell me in the comments if you have advice I, I don't pretend to know it all but I've had liar tail anthias for a very long time and unfortunately uh, I've noticed they're dwindling down just one by one vanishing they don't even just show up dead I mean I had one that I saw as it died it was on the sand bed next to the anemone and I mean it was so soft I, I thought maybe if I could hold it in front of the flow and I tried for 10 minutes to have water going across its gills maybe it would come back to life and that didn't work out but I'm down to one liar tail and I'm not sure if an alkalinity swing could cause that there hasn't been anything else new or strange happen in the reef but it's kind of sad because I really love their activity and their bright color I will get more I mean there's no doubt about it but I'm not sure why they're vanishing and I don't know if they have a predator in the rock work or if maybe the mystery wrasse that seems to chase them from time to time is chasing them right into his den to devour them I don't get it it's really really odd I have kept liar tail anthias, you know, the same ones for like five years. I picked up some new ones, and within a few weeks, I noticed, you know, I didn't notice at first, and all of a sudden, I was like, hey, where did those guys go? And now my established happy ones have been dropping. I don't get it. None of the fish have any kind of spots or, or uh, issues that concern me. You know, Spock and Crown Royal both look picture perfect health. The yellow tangs look fine, the wrasses look fine, the skunk clowns look fine. The gudgeon gobies are cute, the uh, Fridmani comes out, the mandarin, I mean, they're all fine. But something's happening. So if alkalinity is the cause of wire tail deaths, I'd love to know it because I don't know, and it's my only guess. Uh, I feed the tank so often that it can't be a lack of food. Plus, they were fat and happy. And the weirdest part is they are vanishing. They're not on the floor. They're not, you know, skeletons appearing here and there. They just evaporate, and I look at the tank, and I can't find one. It's a 400-gallon reef. It is possible to lose things in the rock work, but it's strange. I would expect to see, well, several, and I have not, so I don't know. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're not one. If you are one, thank you for coming back week after week and for bugging me when one doesn't come out. That's totally fine. Uh, I'm trying to answer all the questions you post in the comments area, so if you're not asking a question because you're watching this through social media uh, or it's embedded in a page, feel free to click to the YouTube area and you can talk directly to me. I'm happy to answer questions. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the Elos Aqua Studio. That place was cool. Uh, super crazy clean, bright, spacious, roomy. 
share this video with others if you want them to see it as well. I'd love to see every fish drawer be this awesome. <laughs> and I'm not putting them down, but I love a really clean, should I say minimal? I mean, they had a lot of space to work with, and they used it in a beautiful way, and I really appreciate it. That's it. Thanks so much. Bye until next time.